Every week in Sweden, a, uh, an evangelical church dies. And only every fifth week, a new one is started, in average. And if the trend continues, uh, in 2054, there won't be any evangelical presence left. That's how the situation is in Sweden. Sweden that once was, for me, a sort of evangelical paradise. Because I had heard the stories of the sending of thousands of missionaries that have impacted our world. And yet, today, uh, there's hardly a glimpse left of what once was a tremendous, strong, powerful, anointed heritage. And that's why we moved there. Um, so, today, every, every week, we meet about with 800 people in our church. Um, half of us are Swedes, and the other half are, come from 50 different nations. It's, uh, that's why you saw so many pictures with so many sort of different looking people. Uh, and it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful, wonderful presence. And so I wanted to sing this song because we had so many reasons to thank God. And, um, you know, just thinking of all these people. And, and I want to thank you as church because you, by releasing Pastor Bill and others, um, uh, um, have meant so much to us as a church, as, as we have gone not only as a local church, but also within our denomination as we have signed a sort of partnership agreements that you want to help us in Sweden to make a difference. Uh, we just want to thank you for that. And, and many of you might not even know about these things, or you have heard this, like this Nordic Baltic thing, right? Now that's the thing. But People are touched and changed. And, and you got this card, this postcard, right? As you, as you got in here, with a little bit of information. But could you do me a favor? Could you put it on your fridge when you get home instead of throwing it in the waste paper basket as you do with all the other stuff? Could you do that? Good morning. Because my prayer would be that God, right in the middle of this wonderful meal, or just before, as you're cooking it, he might remind you, as you look at that card, to say, now you pray for Sweden. No matter where you get burnt potatoes, or whatever you might have on the stove, uh, you pray. In the middle of the night, he might say, instead of opening the fridge to take this extra snack at 3 o'clock in the morning, you'll see this postcard, you say, oh no, I fall on your knees and you pray. Right? Please be praying for us. Okay.